Welcome to Bird Island. You are surrounded with elm, ash, linden trees, and berry-producing plants, American plum, chokeberry, gray dogwood, native roses, crab apples, the water lapping at the shore, a woodpecker in the distance. When Eleanor and Edsel purchased the land for this estate in 1926, the place where you're standing was just a sandbar. The beauty now surrounding you, this island, was the vision of Jens Jensen. The Fords had requested certain amenities on the property. Edsel wanted a cove for his boats and a place for excellent bird watching. Jensen took these two criteria and integrated them into one brilliant and beautiful solution, Bird Island. The building of Bird Island commenced, and when the dust had cleared, Jensen's men had dredged and transported over 80,000 cubic yards of lake bottom to create the peninsula. And even though its final form wasn't exactly what he originally envisioned, we still see Jensen's influence. His commitment to native foliage, his insistence that humans interact with nature on its terms, not our own. But what about the name, Bird Island? Etzel, like his father Henry, was an avid bird watcher. He asked Jensen to populate Bird Island with plants that would attract migrating birds. Today, the island continues to be a popular place for birds on their annual migrations. You can see species including belted kingfisher, the black-crowned night heron, the warbling vero, and the Baltimore oriole. Most of them nest on the island during the breeding season. When you're on Bird Island, you aren't aware that there's anything around you. You have no sense of being in an inner ring suburban area close to a major urban area of Detroit. You're in this environment that is so natural and you hear the breezes and you hear the lapping water on the shore and you hear the birds in the trees. 